What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing well. The Battleground season is about to come to an end, and tonight is the final night for it, dearest Ed Mob Champions. Um, this is your last call for Battlegrounds. The season ends in just 12 short hours. Um, let's go on a <laughs> losing streak. Uh, let's throw one of these in here. Uh, do I not have? Here we go. This is what I was looking for. All right. Yes. I do now. Uh, actually, I don't like this message. I want to say this. Let's try to dodge a last minute loss streak. Um, there we go. Throw one of these in there. All right. Uh, let's try to, okay. Sweet. Good enough. All right. Devon Banks standing over a holy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on just a minute here. Are we going to have ourselves a little daily double action? Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> Bob Banks, appreciate the book. And Ryo, Ry, Ryopton. Oh, probably messing up your name there, but thank you very much for the uh, for the three Australian bucks. Uh, Devon Banks saying, hell yeah, speed, and Ryoptin saying, the double slap, the double slap indeed. Uh, thank you both to Zuri, oh, it was almost a triple, but uh, to Zuri, just missed it, dude, just missed the triple, as uh, you're saying. Dang, bummer, man, but thank you very much, uh, I still appreciate the support from you, I uh, thank you, thank you. Hope you can dodge the modders. Typical last day. Oh, man. This has been a lot of people modding. Uh, the final day here. These people, man. When will they ever learn? Uh, right now in Gamma 3. Look at that. Are the rewards even broken down by these brackets, man? <laughs> Dude, I pay such little attention to how the rewards come out for the season. Uh, let's get into Quantum. Let's make that the goal tonight. Just kidding. The goal tonight is just not to lose. Oh, or not to lose too much. But, oh, I wanted to... Let's do this first. I actually have a couple things that I, I, I want to take care of. Uh, so, first things first. Um, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going to the daily quests. Uh, I can leave MCOC. Just say the word. Uh, forever? Clarissa? What do you mean? What do you mean you could leave MCOC? Mm, BG, good to catch live, but sadly, that means I'm awake. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, that, uh, that, that is a bummer. If, uh, if you're able to sleep, that is the thing to do. But hey, if you can't sleep, welcome. Welcome. Uh, no stay, we need you. Look at that. Clarissa's got some fans. Although, easy is saying the word. <laughs> Brain Enzo said he was like 90% sure he's coming to Vancouver for the meetup. Just saying. Uh, Abidel, first off, Enzo and I are best friends. Don't you think I already spoke with Enzo about it? <laughs> Telling me something. You might as well tell me something that I said. Actually, no, that I do forget a lot of things I say, so it doesn't really apply as much. But yeah, I, I know I already talked to Enzo. Um, he did seem like he was pretty interested in going, pretty excited about the event. Uh, I would love to hang with Enzo again. I, I, I mean, you guys already know, uh, I have, I've, I've never even left the freaking country, man. I am not a world traveler. Um, up until a few years ago, I had never left the East Coast of the United States let alone gone anywhere else in the world. And, um, 
there's a few there's a few places on my uh, on my my wish list of places to travel to, and uh, one of the places is where Enzo's at. I'd like to go there, hang with Enzo, maybe maybe go on a uh, you know a hike with him or something, dude. That'd be awesome. Wait, we're not best friends? No, Enzo exists. How could anyone else be best friend? What, are you kidding me? Is this a serious question? Come on, dude. Um, Enzo and I are clearly best friends. Uh, let me let me change this big D as well. There we go. Really want to get out of Diamond in B Battlegrounds, but it's almost impossible with all those rank 5 accounts I have to face with my humble rank 1s. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just use it as some incentive to uh, continue progressing, continue ranking up your champs. That way, one day, you will rule with an iron fist when you get some higher rank ups. Are you going to play 8.2.6 tomorrow? No, it's probably going to be Friday uh, for when I do 8.2.6. I also got to pick up my card today is awesome. Oh, grats. Uh, new car. Always cool. If that's a new car. I don't know if you were just picking up from the shop or something like that. And by new car, I also mean, like, new to you car. Even even used cars. Awesome. I've never bought a, a new car myself. Uh, I've only ever had used cars. Technically, Laura's... The, I mean, the, the one that we have now is a new car. But, I mean, she got that before we were... Were we married at the time? <laughs> yeah, it beats me. I can't remember if I, I... I think we might have been married at the time already, but either way, that was her car. That was back when we had two cars still. Uh, all right, let's see a replay. And we're going down. Is that trivia? So only 83 mil? Abby Dell, you grind, you know? You on that grind? Today's today, Tuesday? Okay, okay, okay. You still got a little bit of time there. 83 million, that's not bad. That's pretty good. I think you're on pace. What'd she go for round one, actually? I don't even know. Uh, Brian, why are your bald caps so beautiful and shiny and awesome? It's just years of, uh, you know, hundreds of, of thousands of combined hours of research and development and uh, quality control and craftsmanship. Can I use some other buzzwords? The caps are good. Buy them. Link in the description. Offer code banana. Save yourself 15%. Do you do the Thronebreaker monthly? I did a single clear of it, and uh, that's it. Uh, the monthly event quest, pretty boring. The rewards are... They're not bad. They're not great either. <laughs> they're just they're just okay. Uh, as like a monthly thing. Yeah, it's, it's worth doing if you... Uh, uh, if you have the, 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 the time, I would say it's a good place to spend your energy. Um, it's, it's, it's worth doing, but I, I just don't care enough to. BG has never owned his own car confirmed. What? Uh, I've owned two cars. I, I had a Mercedes, which I know sounds pretty glamorous. That was the first car I had was a Mercedes. But it was a really old, in terrible condition, beat to hell Mercedes uh, from the 80s. And it almost killed me because the... the <laughs> I, I don't even know what, what was up with the brakes in that car. We even had like a whole new uh, brake spinner or whatever. I don't know. I, 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 this thing just... It wouldn't stop the car. <laughs> there was times where the car just would not stop. Uh, and ultimately that's what happened. That's how it ended is I, I, I was still dumb enough to drive this thing uh, You know just being young and dumb and uh, Just going down like a very gradual hill it wasn't even a steep hill or anything like that and um, You know going 20 miles an hour it couldn't stop I and, I and I just couldn't stop and I'm just I'm it's like it's in like slow motion as my foot is on the brakes and uh, I'm just trying to stop so that I don't hit the person in front of me. And I'm like, it's not stopping, man. Uh, and someone's with me, and we kind of just, we kind of just both look, and we're just like, well, I, I mean, I guess that's it. I guess we're gonna hit this person in front of me. Uh, and it was someone I went to school with, 
and both of our cars were pieces of garbage and it ended up totaling both cars not because the damage was extreme everyone was okay like i said it was going 20 miles an hour and um uh but our our cars were just uh, such pieces of garbage that it wasn't worth the repairs so we just you know told them i had to pay a whole bunch of money insurance went up of course way more than uh, the cars were worth because i you gotta love insurance and uh, I felt so bad because I, I thought this girl loved her car. Come to find out years later, uh, you know, Laura um, ends up like, you know, they end up like meeting up again years after uh, high school, a few years after. And she was like, oh, no, that that saved my life because her car apparently was extremely defective as well. <laughs> so uh, it ended up being a good thing. But then the next car I got, it wasn't too bad. It's a uh, Nissan Sentra that uh, I ran it to the ground too, but this time in not in a way that totaled the car. It was just, yeah, eventually, eventually the repairs for it were too much and just had to let it go. All right, that's it. We're out of here. OMG, a car tangent. Yeah, Clarissa, that's right, a car tangent. I don't go on the car tangents too much because I don't care about cars. But, um, had to do it at least once. Once every few months. Um, okay, 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 okay. Hey, no all caps, please. Uh, do not do the all caps. Keep that out of here. Not gonna answer your questions. Just gonna ignore you. If you keep doing all caps, uh, you're gonna get banned. Please do not do that. Okay, um... Why am I here? That's right. This is why I'm here. I've got ISO expiring, you guys. And it feels really bad, but I'll, some of this is going to get sold. I don't think I have enough champions to, to feed this ISO, too. Uh, but I certainly have some to uh, feed ISO, too. Actually, I've got more than I thought. Holy cow. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to start feeding some ISO. Let's do this. Um... BG, any info on your July 4th bald cap sales? Um, what kind of info are you looking for? I mean, that stuff's usually just kept private to our, uh, you know, accounting department and all. Uh, we don't usually, we're not, you know, we're not a publicly traded company or anything like that, so. Uh, I can claim all of this again, because we have another tech champ to go to. Hmm, Civil Warrior. Let's do that. Oh, double level up. Save the Mystic ISO. Oh, is it double level up right now? Oh, guess who planned this, you guys? Not me, but I'm taking advantage of it. Hell yeah, this is great. Sweet, man. Oh, I gotta reapply these filters, though. Damn it. Um, what am I doing? Here we go. Um, okay. I've got a little bit of mystic stuff that I can do here. Let's, let's grab some mystic stuff. Maybe I should be going mystic last, actually, because I'll, I'll pull in the rest of it. At the end. Hmm. Yeah, let me do that. Let's, let's change this up mm, all right so tech is done let's let's go in order actually let's do that so we'll go science next mm, let's get she hulk leveled if you could put a price on one six star crystal how much would it cost i don't know 50 cents it depends on uh, uh like um, just like anything in life, really, you know, what's valuable to one person may not be valuable to another. And at this point, uh, there's plenty of six star, uh, champs that I have, so I don't really need them, thus low value. Um, I do still want some six stars for sure. And, you know, they convert to seven-star shards and stuff, but, yeah. 
there's uh, not really a high uh, dollar value to them, I would say. Um, okay, let me just do this. I'll put 16 days on it. I'll claim these. I'll feed the rest of this, and that's pretty good. Okay, so we're done with science. Twitter, por favor, easy. One Twitter check coming right up. What do we got? What is this? Uh, rank 3, number 123. Damn, dude. Fat Man and uh, 124 Atuma. Oh, yeah. I need to check out uh, newly buffed Atuma still. Oh, and July 4th can provide me with materials to rank 5 Ghost and rank 4 a ton of champs. Okay. Let's take a little look, see. I'm... Sh dude, I, yeah. What's your... what Easy, what's your plans for, for July... Fourth, assuming the deals are good. Um, let's make that assumption, because of course if the deals are garbage, you, you know, you may not buy anything. But let's assume they're good. Are you going units? Are you going some Odins? What's your plan? Because I feel like you're probably going to be able to get more than one rank five, I would think. But maybe you're not planning on uh, getting too many of the offers. I don't know. Uh, but damn, dude. So many good champs ranked up. All right. Let's get back to this. I uh, really only want rank up resources. It depends. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Doesn't do friendlies. That's true. If someone's asking for friendlies, I'm sorry. There's not much time left in the season for one. And for two, I, I don't really play too many game modes. So I, I need to uh, spend the time... Uh, actually getting some resources it's it's the unfortunate side of uh, mcoc where there's not really time to play like just for fun <laughs> that often at least for me um let's it, like i always wanted to play more incursions with uh with like the, the the one friend that i had uh you know before mcoc that played mcoc for a bit but, um, and we played incursions together a couple times, you know, I helped him out and stuff, but it's just like, man, there's, I have other things that I need to do. It sucks. But this game uh, applies so much pressure to, you know, chase rewards and stuff. And there's an infinite amount of things to do in the game. And right now I'm only playing like hour and a half a day, a little bit more on, uh, some days, like, um, when I'm in the, um, 8.2 and stuff. And even this hour and a half, I'm... Look at this. I'm not getting any rewards right now. I'm just managing some ISO at the moment. Whoops. There we go. Really with like 30 rank 4 champs? Yeah, that's... That's pretty fair. Um... Let's see. I think I still have more... This ISO? I sure do. Let's keep going. I'm sorry, BG. I'm not sure what you're apologizing about, but whatever it is, it's okay. Don't do it again if it was something bad. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, not in BG stream that much, so didn't know. Oh, it's all good. I don't expect everybody to know everything. Just rewatch Fingal Dink Day 5. What a great run. Ah, oh, T Pizzle. It was a great run. Oh my god. Messed up. There we go. I was thinking about new accounts today. Um, I still can't do one just yet for those uh asking, if anyone is asking. But uh yeah, I'm excited to do another new account run. It's been so long. I would love to uh, do another. I just cannot yet. All right, almost done with the ISO. We could almost get into battlegrounds here. Let's try to make this quick. All right, finally, time to rank four ghosts for battlegrounds. Uh, for you? Or are you saying for me? Is your ghost not rank four already? Um. Alright, whatever. Just looking around a little bit. 
BG, everyone asks every five seconds. Well, that's okay. They can keep asking. People are curious, Clarissa. It is okay for them to ask. For you, mine is about to be rank five soon. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, I'm not going to be doing that. Hey, BG, yo, Jim. What's going on? I don't want to do hella. Red Goblin. There we go. Will you name the account? Can't say yet. I already know what the name's gonna be. Uh, but I can't tell you that. One, if I say the name, it'll get taken. If it's not already taken, it might already be taken. And two... Ruin the surprise. Mm, wanting BG to do a new account challenge is like asking for a new season of Firefly. A TV show, I think, right? Never seen it. Surprise, surprise. Man, I had a lot of cosmic ISO. Must have duped a lot of cosmic champs. Okay. Um, that's the last of the cosmics that I have to level up, but I still have some cosmic ISO. So, well, let's go rank up some mystics first. And then. I'll use whatever I have left over expiring on just anyone. Claim this. Rank, rank, rank. I really want to take Rintrout at rank 2 right now while I have the ISO. Yet. I'm going to feed to everyone else still. Get all these guys leveled up first. Then I'll go back to them if there's more left over still. Hey BG, are you okay? You know? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Is anyone really okay? At the end of the day. Uh, Jim, with the five saying, hey, BG, I'll send you another super chat if you tell us your favorite dad joke of all time. Jim. Thank you for the five. Martin T sent it over a loot. <laughs> Just move on immediately. Like, come on, man. My favorite dad joke of all time? There are none. How could my... I mean, that's like asking what my favorite... Uh, favorite time that I that I broke my ankle was. Uh, favorite time I got punched in the face, you know, like I. Uh, why would I? Why would I like these things? I don't have any. I really, I you know, here's the thing. I recognize that a lot of people do like dad jokes. And for the people that do like dad jokes, it makes me a little sad that Dorky Diggity Dave no longer streams because he was really the, the, the dad joke guy, you know? All right, there we go. I'm done with ISO. Oh, that was a lot, dude. Ah, I should have looked at my gold beforehand. I think I was at maybe like 95 million or something. Now I'm a little below 90. But we're moving on now, finally. Goodness gracious, that took longer than expected. Come on! I didn't even get all the milestones for this. What's the final milestone? Oh. So I don't care. Okay. No worries. We're moving on. Well, let's get out of here. Um... Shuri, you have to have one. Okay, dude. Come on, Jim. You know what I said? I miss Dave streaming because uh, he likes the dad jokes. What I really meant is I wish that he still streamed so that all of you guys could take your damn dad jokes and just put them over to Dave's stream. Damn it. I feel like he was the lightning rod for that stuff because, again, he loved it. Uh, he stopped streaming, then all of a sudden, you know, Tom's over here, 
assembling an army of, uh, of, of funny people that aren't funny, that just need to take laps. Enjoy your lap. Damn it, Jim. But thank you. Uh, all right, Martin T, send it over to Looney. Martin T, I actually have no message from you, which is unusual, which tells me YouTube ate it because you always have a message. This is not like you at all. Um, but yeah, I have nothing. Sometimes you send tweets. Huh, I do have a tweet from you too. This is so bizarre. I don't know what, what YouTube is doing, man. It's, it's something to do with Twitter, but like people say tweets... People say Twitter. So it, 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 YouTube is like selectively deleting some of those messages or something. I don't know, dude. Uh, it's pretty annoying, though. I really wish they would stop. But uh, okay. Dude. Hey, I was over here looking at this duck at first, but look at that. Hello, Danny. Congrats, dude. That's awesome. Uh, all right, Dabbeast. Dave and I are spirit buddies. Yeah, that makes sense. I could see it. Uh, Dabbeast with the uh, the 150 SGD. Dabbeast, I don't see a message from you either. Do you also have a tweet? You do have a tweet too? Dude, what is going on? YouTube's really pissing me off. Um, how to spot Quicksilver, also kind of lucky. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me make this larger. I want to mute. There we go. Uh, let's see it. Let's see it in action. Oh, yeah, because I was fighting Quicksilver, huh? Uh, are you just going to push him to a special two? No. You're taking so much damage. Okay. Okay, I think I understand. A little bit. Let's watch this part of it one more time. So, you never go to a uh, special two, though. You just let the, the special one rip, huh? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, oh, the rest of this was... Uh, got kind of lucky. Dude, Death Strike. Wow. Lady D right there. People getting lucky today, eh? Nice. Congrats on the, uh, the number 250 right there. BG likes ducks. True. Mighty ducks. Also true. BGM 5'3 and 380 pounds. Is that healthy? Um, I don't understand this question. Because you, you already know it's not healthy. I can't tell if this is trolling or... Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to assume trolling. Um, but... Uh, yeah. Jim, thank you for the five. Say tweet, tweet. After today's live stream, do you think that... Uh, Kindred is a champ for the next for next month. Uh, who do you think will join him? Silk Lizard. Uh, I didn't watch today's live stream, so I don't know. Uh, let's see here though. I think this might be Kindred. Is that anybody else say the name? Uh, damn, dude. I hope we get this character. Holy hell, this character looks awesome. We all fall down. Dude. Oh my god. This thing's gonna give me nightmares. Holy hell. This would be awesome if we got this character. Uh, I, I have no clue. I feel like... Um, uh, that's a... Uh, oh, oh wait, I see. You got this here. Description... What is this? Baddie, very aggressive. They're a dentist. They've got straight teeth. Do all dentists have straight teeth? I guess so. They use their nails to floss. The, the tooth fairy? Guy in his right arm is, is halitosis. The germ that causes halitosis uh, just yanked out of somebody's mouth. What did I miss in this stream? 
Makes me feel like I have to take shelter. They're fast and jump everywhere. And they look like they're going to jump on me and eat me. You really have to keep your head in a swivel. Dad. Okay. That's the dad review there. Uh, magic power. Oh, this does look like him. Well, these are like... Spiders, though? Uh... Why does this actually look familiar? I mean, it might be who you said, but... Oh, man, there's a character I'm thinking of. I don't even know if they're a Marvel character. Uh, oh, no, they're not a Marvel character. Okay. I was thinking of something in a different video game. Um, all right, let me see here, though. Uh, magic power curing halitosis worldwide. Sick. Catchphrase, let's cure halitosis. What's with the halitosis? Uh, origin story. They mutated in a bottle of something, alcohol, and mouthwash. Doctoral hygiene. Okay. I don't know what I missed in that stream, but uh, it sounded like a good time. It sounded fun. Oh, it does have, like, these... Those crawly legs. Yeah. Okay, that might be it. Straight teeth and everything. Um, that could be it. I'm gonna go ahead and queue up uh, the match, though. Let's get this started. Let's get this last uh, bit of arena matches going, or um, battleground matches going. God, it's so confusing to me because arena, I'm used to being like a PvP game mode, and I mean that's you know technically arena is a PvP game mode, but just not really. This is the PvP game mode, uh, but I'm used to that being a uh, a thing in other games. Anyway, T Pizzle, thank you very much for the bucks. And a father and son go fishing. On the way home, they get in an accident. The father dies and the son is taken to the hospital. The doctor comes in and says, I can't work. This boy, he's my son. Uh, how is that possible? How is any of how is anything possible? Move past it, you know? <laughs> That's my favorite always sunny, or one of my favorite always sunny moments. Where he's like, Frank, how is this possible? How is anything possible, Charlie? Move past it when he's like stuck in a coil. Um, hold on though. What? Let me see this. The father and son go fishing on the way. Hope they get an accident. The father dies. The son is taken to the hospital. Uh, doctor comes in and says, I can't work. Can't work this boy. Which already sounds, that doesn't sound great. Uh, he's my son. How is that possible? I feel like this is a joke from Are You Afraid of the Dark? I feel like there was an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark that started out this way. Uh, but I don't know how it's possible. Uh, let's ban these three. Sorry, I stole your seven viewers? What? The floor was gonna raid you, but I stole them to play Fortnite. Oh, okay. We'll have fun with Fortnite. Is the floor in here too? Can you hear me right now? What up, the floor? If you can't, then tell him uh, I said what's up. Think. Oh, never mind. Uh, do I want Howard? No, I'm going to take spot here. I need to practice. Who is BG Baby Girl? Oh, I see. BG Baby Baby Girl. <laughs> Laura, I mean <laughs> no harm. Wow. Mm. I should probably take CGR. Yeah, I'm going to. I, I may, oh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Doom. Maybe I should have taken the King. I don't know. I don't know. Did I say what's up to you, Ray Royal? I saw you pop in here. I think I was on a tangent or something. What have you been doing while I've been away, Brian? Beans. Lots and lots of beans. do this okay uh t 
T-Pizzle said, Jim, you got it. What did Jim say? The doctor is uh, there, Bob. Oh, there you go. I think I I swear I think that was a joke and, and are you afraid of the dark or something? Um, crud! I'm not thinking. I'm just gonna put this guy down. It's either are you afraid of the dark or like some 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 old show or movie. It like starts out that way. Where they where they tell? I'm pretty sure of that joke. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this thing. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in chat. Apparently, you've got yourself a baby girl. Well, the only baby girl that I have is Venom the Duck. Let's blast this guy with a big old special, too. No, he's still unblockable. Oh, I got the intercept, though. Suck on that. Need a heavy attack here, think? Oh, no! Damn it. Shrugged my parry, I guess. Striker. We're going for it. Come on. Come on. Almost. Still going. For oh. I did not expect him to throw that special. I was just going to bait a heavy. Ah, R.I.P. Okay. What's up, BG? Been a minute. Picked game back up after four months. How's the status of the game? Uh, go with normal stuff or... Yeah, I don't know if much has changed in the last four months. You know, little tweaks here and there. But for the most part, I don't think you missed anything too crazy. Should 90s Nickelodeon be the next trivia? Ooh, T-Pizzle. Clarissa would love that. I don't know how much I would be able to get. I did watch, like, some, but I, I, I never watched uh, that much, you know? They throw down Doom on D? Yeah, I put Doom on D. And I'm going to fight this with uh, Spot here. I think I messed up. I messed up for sure. Uh, I'm gonna have to do it again. No. Ah, so bad. Ah, I blew it. I, that could have been like 25 seconds faster. Not sure it would have been enough anyway. Mm. BG, your stream went out? Did it go out? Should be back because I, I it seems to still be going for me. Weird, because I didn't drop any frames, and I'm looking at the playback, and it, it didn't it didn't look like it went out at all, ever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think what I needed to do there, what one, I didn't use my striker even, so I should have built up power more, I guess, before going for um, special two or whatever. Uh, but also, like he man, he was throwing lots of heavy attacks. I I I. I 
I, there's definitely things I could have done better there, but I think the beginning, I think I just got unlucky at the start of it, at least. Same thing happened with the floor stream. I think it's just YouTube. Okay. Yeah, it must have been YouTube. Skipped a good 20 plus seconds. Weird. Yeah, it must have been a YouTube thing, though. I don't even know. Oh, man. Uh, no, it's going to be too late now. I was going to hit replay and show you guys what I'm talking about because it might have skipped the part I was talking about. But. Right, you got a side chick, too? Oh, I want to make a joke here, but I don't know if it's appropriate. <laughs> I don't know if it'll end up getting me stabbed. No, you're the only one for me. You know this. <laughs> um, Joshua Dooley, thank you for the uh, uh, the pound. Let me see here. Joshua Dooley, I see no message from you. Is that also a Twitter check? Uh... I don't see a Joshua on Twitter. Dude, what is up with YouTube? Joshua, I have no message. Uh, if if you had a message, try sending it again. Um, so I think YouTube just uh, ate the message, unfortunately. I'm not even sure who I wanted to ban there. I think that Spuddy 29 was a bad ban. But, whatever. Dude, WTF? Hmm? Oh, I see. The person that just got banned or whatever. Ah, trolls are out tonight, man. People must be really bored. Right, put on slow mode or subs only for five minutes, please. Uh, is there really a lot of people? Mm. Right, let me see. Let's get spot and I'll take this guy, I guess. Oh, yeah, I see. Looks like, uh... Alright, we'll go to, uh, the subs only. Uh, hang on. Okay, there we go. That should, uh, fix the new account trolls. Might see a couple more tonight, but not many. Uh, oh, crud. It just it picked uh, champs for me. That's not too bad of champs. Ibom and Mojo. I don't know if they were the best ones available, but... We'll play with it. Uh, I don't know if I should have gone Howard or Rocket. I think Rocket better for fighting Fury. I like Howard for... For if um hmm. yeah I like I mean I like Howard for some of the fights really only a couple I guess maybe I should have gotten Howard there in hindsight or uh, Rocket there in hindsight overseer yeah this is this is one I wish I had Rocket for that's okay though hmm. Put down Fury and let's see. I kind of want to try to spot this guy again. I want more practice with spot. This is a bad time to use him. Yeah, actually, it's a bad time to use him. I'm going to save spot. We're going to try to Howard this. Have a good night, babe. Miss you. Okay. Have a good, have a good night. Miss you, too. Laura's uh, visiting some family at the moment. 
Brian should put on banter mode only with just Abdo, uh, Pixie, and Simon. Oh, God. Hmm, I might as well get some striker in real quick. Now oh, let's bait this. Come on. Good. Ah, oh, this guy is so slow to fight, dude. Like, no furies at all. Oh, I really didn't want him to throw that. All right, I'll just pop my special, too. I need furies. Got nothing. I do not want him to throw his special. So let's do this. Uh, no, I'm gonna have to have him throw it, actually. It's too risky. Oh, come on! Unbelievable. Mm. Bad, bad fight. All right, didn't matter. Dang. I think I would have needed spot for that one. I, if I used Rocket there, I think I could have done that fight with Rocket. Are there still people trolling? How is this possible? Hmm. All right, anyway, let's continue on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh man, he's got CGR for Void, huh? I'm still gonna put Void down. He's probably gonna put Fury down. Or maybe Scorpion. Maybe Doom, actually. There's Scorpion. I actually wanted Howard for Scorpion. That was one of the fights that I wanted him for. Um, so yeah. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in rough shape. There's a, there's a rough spot here. Can you spot Scorpion? I mean, I guess I'm going to find out. Let's do it. Um, there was some super chats, by the way, which, yeah, I, I see and I'm going to read, but I, um, I got to do this fight first, so. No? Oh, well, rip me. Scorpion counter spot. Hmm. Okay. He starts rupture immune. Uh All right. Guess I'm toast then. Oh god, it's so hard to get enough hits in. To prevent his evade thing. I'm guessing this is the way to play it if I can't rupture him. Is just do as many hits as possible uh, and get to special two still. That evade is just going to eat me alive too though. Yeah, this is brutal. All right, well, that's gonna be a uh, a second loss here. I didn't really have the the best of matchups anyway. Um, trying to turn on the chat and everything, I didn't really get uh, the good picks. I'm just gonna let him kill me here.
It's fine. Let me read these super chats. Um, all right, Joshua Dooley. I was looking for yours before. Oh, here we go. Okay, he said, hey, BG, uh, can make a pull, please? Sure, Cassie or Cassie Spot or Rintroff for rank three. Not Awakened, but I am Paragon, so gems aren't an issue, but stones are my plans for Act 8 and Battlegrounds. Thank you. Okay, sure. Uh, let's do it. Um, let's see. Cassie. Spot. Or Rintra. So... Who to rank three? None awakened. All right, poll is live. Uh, very solid. Thank you very much for the three MYRs. Say. Mm, who do I choose for my Nexus? CGR or, Hul or Hulkling? Uh, life is really tough. I would personally go with Hulkling between the two. CGR is great. You can go CGR if you like. It's personal preference to some degree. But uh, I really like Hulkling. So, yeah. All your bursts is an instant rupture. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I didn't realize he was rupture immune. Um, yeah, I would go Hulkling between Hulkling and CGR personally, though. Uh, looks like Rintra is winning this poll. Yeah, I mean, Spot Spot really needs the, the damage from his Awaken ability, so I wouldn't go Spot. Cassie, I, I don't actually recall what her Awaken ability looks like. Um, Rintra is never a bad one to go with. But Rintra, but I think a lot of people sleeping on Cassie, perhaps. Uh, all right, easy. Let me see uh, where you're at here. Uh, all your messages are timing people out that I'm finding. Hold on. I don't actually see a message. For oh, here we go. No, I do have one. Did you see the forum post for next season? No, I saw that Lags posted a video, though. I clicked on the video, and then um, I had to talk to someone, so I, I like paused the video and never returned to it. Um, let's see. So, Battleground Season 9, Boosting Rewards, Scoring Adjustment, and Season Meta. Okay, we can take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and end this poll, though. Rintra is the, the winner of it. I think Rintra is always a good champ to go with, so uh, that's who I'd personally vote for, too. Rintra's a beast. Um, eventually, you want him awakened, of course, too, but like he's just so powerful. Uh, I think I like the changes. Okay, well, let's let's skim through here a little bit. Uh, for Season 9, we're supercharging rewards in the events for this season, as well as opening up Season 9 to conquer level summoners. These changes are going to be exclusive to Season 9, so get them all you can. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if this is, like, the summertime bonus. Um, because, like, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, MCOC and other games do this, too. They really try to further incentivize people to play during the summertime. And I can't say for sure, but I think it's just because these companies know, like, oh, yeah, it's, you know, uh... People have more free time, and it's nice outside. Might be spending that time outside. They they want people logged in as much as possible. So uh, I wonder if this is just part of that. But let me see. Uh, change the next. Uh, yeah, all along with all these exciting reward changes, we'll also be moving the gladiator circuit down to two metas rather than four, each spanning over two weeks. Okay, this is a change we are exploring, uh, carrying forward into future seasons. Okay. Final changes will be a tweak to the maximum points that time will ground us. Is there like a... Okay, it's not too long. I was going to ask if there was a TLDR. Um, Just like some bullet points of the changes, but okay. Season 9 dates. Okay, points changes. We've noticed a large trend of, of time being the defining factor in top tier games. And as a result, defenders that extend the fight 
uh, being consistently picked. We don't want to shift things too much and still want time to be a source of points, but want the main focus to be winning the fight in the best possible condition. Hmm. Max uh, fight duration points is dropping quite a bit. Uh, rewards as previously discussed will be boosting rewards for solo and alliance events for season 9 only. Okay. Um, I don't even know what these rewards are, so... But, okay, this is this is the big change that... That I would care about here. Um... Do I like that? Do I not like that? I don't know, actually. I think it's one of those things that I kind of have to see how it affects the game. Um, the current point structure didn't really bother me as it is. Uh, but I understand that fights could potentially be more interesting if they're less like just brute force with um, a champ that does a lot of damage to blast through or something. Uh, I don't know, but at the same time, it's like I, 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 I'm not sure. Here's the thing. I I want Kabam to experiment and try and make adjustments. So before I give any sort of uh, like whatever I'm about to say next, because I do have a couple thoughts. I want to say that I like that they're trying this because they could always change it back. They could always make other adjustments. I think modes like this PVP games, they should be shaken up. Uh, from time to time. Otherwise, yeah, th that's how these types of modes become stale. So um, even something that's relatively small like this could totally change with champions uh, you're picking and uh, make seasons feel different. So I like that they're doing this. However, I will say that one of the most exciting parts of Battlegrounds is that time matters a lot. And you have to play aggressively if you want to get a good time score. And it's not easy to, to play as aggressively as possible while maintaining perfect health because you might be making a little bit more, uh, you know, risky plays. And it leads to more exciting matches where, like, one thing about Alliance War that, that um, was a little less exciting at times is the way that I approached Alliance War, where I played it safe. Uh, I didn't intercept, because wh why would you? There, there's no need to, to get through the fight um, three seconds faster. It, it's more important just to be like, okay, I'll just block and bait out a heavy attack, make sure I don't die, make sure I don't mess this up, get through, get through the next fight. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I had a, um, a, a fairly decent, like, war win rate uh like low low death count a few perfect seasons and stuff um even though i'm not the best fighter the other reason is just that well i also wasn't taking bosses and stuff like that so uh there were people in the battle group that were taking harder fights than me for sure but uh i mean i was you know back in like the, the heyday of alliance war i was doing like the the six seven paths which were considered to be like one of the harder paths um with like path five being the hardest one, but that one maybe being like the second hardest or something. So it's not like I was taking uh, the easiest fights always either. When I played Uno with my folks, my dad won three rounds and I won once. If you were here, you would have swept the floor with all of us in Uno. That's true. I am a damn good Uno player. Ryan, what is this camera angle with us seeing the top uh, of your head? It's the same it's always been. The camera's in the exact same spot that it's always been. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking down a little bit more. Yeah. Um, okay. Interesting change, though. Let's go ahead and queue up the next uh, match. Let's get back to it. So, I, I even though I like that Kabam is making this adjustment, I think I'm going to prefer it just as an experiment and, and maybe go back to valuing um points more i don't, i'm not sure we don't see your mouth just your noggin is the screen scrolled down for you or something because i 
My mouth is right here. I can see it. He's starting to hunch. Was I hunching? Was I going like this or something? But I could... It's right here. It's in my mouth. <laughs> Where's your breath? It's in my mouth. Uh, BZ obviously advertising his bald caps. Best lighting and angle possible. There you go. <laughs> yeah, now it is. But when you talk, we don't see your mouth. That's weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm zoomed in a, a little closer than... Uh, I, I've been playing around doing this sometimes recently so is this better should i leave it like this maybe i was zoomed in a, a, a little bit much still I, I don't know is this better i feel like you're so far away from now oh god i'm not paying attention oh no i bad absorbing man i didn't want a bad absorbing man i got absorbing man ah shucks i'm gonna go rocket because I, I i i need i just need to play rocket I hate passing on uh, Torch, especially when there's, you know, a couple of potential uh, mystics at play here, but... Yeah, I had to go rocket, I felt like. You, you, you're coming with me. Let's go. Yeah, that's better? Okay. Mm -mm. This is way better? Okay. Oh, you guys, what do you think? Do I pick Venom Zaduk? You're damn right I do! You think I'm gonna pick CGR? When I got a seven star Venom of the Duck just sitting right here. You guys really just been watching the top of his noggin this whole time? I mean, what do you usually look at when you look at me? I guess I'm a little taller than you, so maybe maybe you're not used to seeing the top of my head. Uh, um, oh god, what am I doing? Ah! I don't know. Did I get that in time? I don't even know. Oh man, that might not even have been a good pick. Yeah, well. No relic on Venom the Duck? I'm disgusted. Accelerate. I am too. I'm very disappointed in myself, and you're correct. I need to give him a relic. Um. I didn't think... Oh, no, I do have... No, never mind. I do have a, uh, a relic on Venom the Duck. I put my most powerful ve uh, relic there. Oh, God. And now I'm really not paying attention to who I'm drafting. It's my only six-star relic, and he's on Venom the Duck. <sighs> See, I was thinking about picking Magneto for this fight, specifically... Here we go. It's not going to be great. I look at chat. The gameplay is pre-recorded. Exactly. I used to see in your noggin. It's effing huge. <laughs> there is no getting past it. But I focus on your mouth. You know me. I, I got to see them lips flap. I thought you said lip flaps for a second there. I was like, oh, geez. Uh, but yes. All right. Let's... Get rid of the shield. Oh, God. Penny. Who puts Penny in the damn game? Not even the, the, the battleground here. Just in the game in general. Chuck it. There you go. Am I doing damage? I gotta take down the shield before I can chuck this special too. Ah, oh, perfect block, no. 
I need uh, I needed a different buff. Here we go. Chuck them eggs. It's not even that bad, you guys. Yeah! Yeah! Venom the duck. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, he's going to be ranked two one day. Just you guys wait. Venom the duck over spot? Agreed. Yeah, I guess I put this guy down and put AA in there. Let's do that. Is this Shuri coming out? I feel like I need to win this round. I don't know. Round three, it can kind of go either way, I guess. But uh, I would I would not like to, to, to go to round three if possible. Shuri about to go burr. Oh, man. Does Shuri just really shred? Shuri's going to be good against him? Oh, no. I was thinking about putting Kingpin on defense right now. Is that the better play, you guys think? One Neuro. I need more poison. Come on, man. No poison on a reparry. Yeah, at least we got two Neuros that time. Come on. Hit my block, dude. One Neuro. I want to check a special one here, because it'll probably be enough to give me the poisons, at least. Oh, but then the poisons go away. I'm an idiot. Come on. We'll see. Think we're good. Ooh, that was close though. That was really close. Very, very, very close. Good game to uh, Doctor Nemesis. This this could have went either way. It ended up being a two zero, but they were pretty pretty close fights point wise. You know. Ryan, are you good at this game? Nah, not really. BG, can I get pull first rank four for me? Options are Doom Spot, Rintra, or Nimrod All Awakened. Sure. Let's see. Who two rank four all awakened? Options once again are Doom Spot. Rintra and Nimrod. No, I'm not good at this game. It's just that Venom the Duck is so strong that it's like the game plays itself, you know? Kind of handles itself. Uh, Devon Banks with the two saying tweeters, please, Baldy. Okay, let's we'll see. Hey, BG, how's it going? How was day? How's your night doing? You thought I was going to go with this thumb again, huh? Faked you out. Uh, just pulled some heat. Uh, does Herc need to be awakened? Oh, my goodness. Please tell me you didn't pick Hercules here. Did you pick Hercules over Diablo? No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, no, Hercules 100% the pick. Dang, dude, Diablo's so good too. But yeah, yeah you got to go Hercules, of course. Um, does he need to be awakened? I mean, technically no, but also technically yes. Uh, <laughs> he, his best ability is death immunity. 
uh, which comes from his Awaken ability. It, it, it's, in my opinion, what makes Herc busted. He can still uh, be pretty strong. You can still use him, but he would just be a mere mortal uh, of a champion. Where with the Awakened ability, he is an unkillable god. Uh, where is it? Here we go. So, he gains... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He gains this immortality buff. And uh, it, it, it looks like it only has a, a fairly short duration of four to nine seconds. But uh, you, you pause that buff. And he can carry that. You can extend that a lot. And then he also gets this too, increasing his combat power rate, because of course his specials are very strong. Give him all them buffs and all that. So uh yeah, you want to awaken and get that guy sigged up. Pretty good there. But uh grats, dude. Bedtime for me. Good good luck, BG. Keep crushing it. Alright, T Pizzle, have a good one, dude. Wait, T Pizzle, you say that, but I see a message from you again saying BG just pulled Kate and Shocker out of the featured. Which one is better? Uh, realistically, probably Kate. Um, I don't know. Those are two of my favorite champs of the year. My three favorite champs of the year, in no particular order. Actually, I'll give release order. So I think Shocker came first, right? And then um, Kate and then Danny Moonstar. Those are my three favorite of the year so far. And I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring out which one is uh, most favorite of the three. Because, yeah, I, I like all three of them. But, um, yeah, realistically, Kate is uh, probably the better one there. Um, I don't have those champs at a high level, though. It's just from my, you know, initial testing with them. So that's all I'm going by. All right, Doom uh, has won this poll, by the way, of who to rank for between Doom Spot, Rintra, and, and Nimrod. Um, God, I, I'd say personal preference, though. I, I like the cow. He was my favorite from last year. But uh, any one of those four is a good rank up. Is it worth it uh, to play for? Where'd that go? It was worth the play for more points. I got uh, two weeks ago 95, and I'm Uru 2. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not even sure what the rewards are for finishing in different places. Oh, that's a seven star bishop? I don't think so, dude. Get out of here with that. Uh, I was a little tempting to ban that Korg, but uh, like I was saying yesterday, I like fighting Korg. So I'm just going to leave Korg be. I'll probably lose to him. I probably have like a, you know, 33% win rate or something against him, but don't care. I like fighting him. Um, I mean, look, guys, how do you... How, how, how can I not go Venom the Duck again after the performance that he put up last time. It'd be, it would actually be kind of nice to have picked up that Warlock, but Venom the Duck. Ooh. I mean, I think I go with these two. Oh my god, that was a tough one because I, I it would be nice to have Rocket against that Domino. Uh and APOC is just a, a pretty sturdy defender, so like did I make a mistake there? Never mind. Got him back. I think I just pick up those two now. Um do I take an eye bomb for any reason? I bomb pretty good against Ma. Oh, you know what? Pretty good against Doom, too. Okay, I'm gonna take I Bomb. Ugh. Alright, there's that, uh. There's that Korg, and I don't really have a good counter. Yeah, boy! 
I let him ride, and uh, this, is, this is maybe no good. Quack, 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 Mr. Ducksworth. Here's Korg first pick. I bet. No, starting with Dragon Man. Okay. Oh my god, where's my defense? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I can put down, um, like, Hulkling next, I guess, or something. <laughs> oh, man, dude. I was looking at my roster thinking uh, I wasn't not paying attention to defense so much this draft. Oh, maybe. I may have to put Kingpin down defensively, too. I don't know. Good, I wanted him to throw that. Uh, okay. It's fine. Good, I get some willpower healing. Oh god. Do you know who are best friends in this game? I'll give you a hint. One's a duck and one's a raccoon. Rocket and Venom the Duck. The unstoppable duo. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I put Hulkling on defense next. Who are they going to put on defense? Either Korg, Domino, or Maw. Right? Um, uh, who do I use against... Hmm. Oh my god. What happened over there? Venom <laughs> the duck. Venom <laughs> the duck is of me. Oh my god, dude. He's, he's, oh, this guy's unstoppable. Oh, Venom the Duck is unstoppable. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Why don't you put down Kingpin on attack? It's because I wouldn't have a round three if I put Kingpin on attack. So, um, I think I win round three if we go to round three. I should have just hit him. Oh! Dang, dude, I got the light intercept. Oh my god, this is a joke. Uh, he parried me too. 
And he's unstoppable. Okay. <laughs> Please stop going unstoppable on me. <laughs> oh, no. Guys, this is so bad. He's capped out. Is, or is he capped out? I can't tell, dude. Yeah! Here comes some damage. Suck out of this. I can only hit him with light attacks from here on out. Everything else will kill me. Including taking a blocked hit. No! Oh, I was a little late on that light intercept. Oh, boy. Maybe I should have just went for it. Maybe maybe Hulkling was my best bet to win this on D. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I might have just lost you guys. Special three time, BG? Yeah, maybe special three time would have been it. I hit that first light intercept, and then I and then I just botched it from there. I've taken Korgs with I-Bomb before. Um, it usually does not go that poorly, but I blocked too many hits. Uh... I, I just blocked way too many hits, fed his rock stacks to, you know, the moon and back. He's, he's, I mean, throw duck on D? Yeah, I'd probably go with duck on D, because otherwise Archangel, right? Um, and I could Arch Archangel Domino. So, yeah, we'll put duck on D and uh, Archangel offensively here on this one. Uh, Michael, thank you for the Euro. I'll read your message after this. Oh, no, what am I doing? I didn't think that I was gonna work that way. Whoops. Okay, I could really use some poisons, because I'm not really handling this fight the best so far. This is actually going really poorly, you guys. There we go. Come on, let's save this. <laughs> I'm throwing so hard right now, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what were those attacks? What was I thinking? What was I doing? Oh boy. Yikes. <sighs> Alright, anyway. Um, I thought I had the range on that heavy. That really messed me up early on, and then I was just kind of flustered uh, from there on, you know? Uh, <laughs> all right, anyway. Um, all right, Michael, thank you for the Euro. Hey, this is the BG I wanted to face yesterday. Oh, I bet you did. Yeah, some days I play better than others. Uh, <laughs> Kingpin does Korg in 50 seconds. Yeah, Shlirum, I've heard you say that before. Uh, I feel like I, I, I've, I've taken down Korgs in not a super long amount of time, but it usually takes me more than 50 seconds. You say go for L2 first to get the overpower, then L1 and a couple of hits, and he's dead. Yeah, it usually takes me a bit longer than that. Um, 
I... The thing is, I was fairly confident going into round three. So I wasn't too worried about putting in a suboptimal champ for round two. I have taken Korgs with, um, with Bomb Bomb here before. They don't go. They don't really go that poorly, honestly. He's not a bad champion against Korg. Uh, he's he's not. He's absolutely not a, a, an ideal champion either. But like, you see the fight duration being eighty-seven seconds. I could have won that fight. I could have defeated Korg in about that time. It's just I had such a bad start that, um, well, yeah, obviously I just died in that time instead. But yeah, that's a 90-second 90, 90 fight. And uh, if he was throwing in someone like Venom against uh, my Hulkling there... Actually, I don't know. How, how does that go? Seven-star Venom? With a Venom Relic? I, I feel like maybe that's not even that bad of a matchup, but I don't know. Um, but either way, I you know... I, I, I wanted to have a, a round three in case I, I botched round two, so... That's, uh, that's why I did what I did. Not worth it. Need three for 100% shutdown either way. You're talking about AA here. Well, you don't need, you don't, it's not always about getting to 100% uh, reduced ability accuracy. So I, I, I'm in the same camp as Dab East here where, um, I, I think max sig AA is, um, is worth it it's not a it's not a priority so to anyone in the chat that is not like uh you know the most competitive uh you, you need to get other champs sigged up first you need to get like namor sigged up and a lot of sigs these days come from generics so it's not even about uh other mutants i would say uh you you just want to you want to sig up a lot of other champs before before prioritizing more than Sig 1 on AA. But I do think that he benefits from Max Sig. BG has such a good win rate. I really don't think he's seeking or needing fight by fight feedback. I do like fight by fight feedback. I like it. Um, I'm not always going to agree with it. But I know I, I this is what I love about MCOC. This is why I love about competitive games in general. I've never tried to be the best, but I've always liked to kind of analyze things. What could be done better? What could be done differently? Um, so now I, actually I, I, I do like the uh, the feedback. The only thing I don't like is when people just say either I suck. Well, I, I mean, that doesn't even bother me that much. You could say I suck. I don't care. But I don't like when people say my opponents suck. Because it's like, oh man, that kind of... <sighs> it's tough because I love trash talking. Even though you guys don't see me trash talking too much, I, I, I love the idea of trash talking, I guess. But I, it, it, like it, I don't know, I just find it funny sometimes. Uh, when done right, at least... Sometimes it's just annoying and it's just an annoying person. You, ha it's it's just like okay. Uh, let, let me put it this way: it's like the, it's like a comedian who, like, there's a big difference between making like a funny joke about someone, and then, you know, just being mean. And I guess that's what I like. I I, I like when people turn the trash talk into like something funny, but a lot of people. They don't, they can't really tell that distinction, you know? And a lot of people, I, I, I've, like, if you're not sure if you're being funny or being mean, then just don't do anything is my advice. Uh, but here's the thing. If, if someone just says, oh, this person sucks or something like that, it kind of discourages people to play PvP game modes, you know? And I, I want as many people playing these game modes as possible. So if someone's, if I, if I face someone and they're like, oh, that person sucked, they might be in here, man. Uh, if you were face to face with them, you, you wouldn't say that to them. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I think think about it that way and try not to be discouraging to people. 
that's that I, I don't i don't if people say i suck i don't care just to the other people um if your opponent sucks he sucks simple as that no it's not as simple as that because if someone it doesn't play very often they might be amazing for someone who just picked up the game or is just returning to the game uh, so it's absolutely not as simple as that. You don't know what's going on. Dude, what if what if the person on the other screen has one arm? Uh, that's not even a joke. Like, there's... Dude, if, like, there's... You could see people that, like, stream games and, like, make videos and games and stuff like that that uh, are playing with disabilities. So, dude, it's not at all simple like that, man. Um, there's a million other reasons and other things that go on, too. Uh, but alright, anyway, Devon Banks, thank you for the book. Not to mention lots of game issues that we all experience, too. Uh, but alright, BG, pull the Gambit Relic. What champ is more useful with? Uh, well, so Gambit, he gives a lot of crit rate. Um... So, hold on a sec. Gambit. What you want to do with Gambit, uh, I mean, first off, you give him to a champ that you're playing. You know, it, it, it doesn't really matter who benefits the most. It matters who you're playing the most. Uh, in, in most cases, I would say. Um, that's like priority one. Priority two, though, I would say is just champions that need to land big critical hits in order to deal damage. So like Gambit is a prime example. Um, his special two hits really hard, but if it doesn't crit, then the buildup feels like it wasn't worth it. Um, Sunspot is kind of an opposite example in a way. He benefits like crazy from it. His damage will go through the roof. Uh, but he doesn't need it. His damage is already kind of through the roof where his buildup, he's kind of good enough without it uh, anyway. Sure, if you have like other relics or something, maybe maybe in the future, but... Uh, or if he's just, you know, one of the mutants that you're playing a lot, yeah, he'll benefit, but like... You will probably get away with giving it to uh, other champs. I would say this, uh, Danny Moonstar... It, uh, like of, of the champs that I've messed around with, maybe the number one champ I would give it to. Because I don't really like Gambit, personally. And Danny Moonstar, if, uh, if she crits on her special too, like she, here's the nice thing about Danny Moonstar. She has multiple hits on her special too. I can't remember how many it is. I want to say like six, eight, something like that. I don't know. Um, oh, the specials have to do physical damage. Uh, won't work on energy damage. So Sunspot wouldn't work for you. We're like, ah, oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so for... Because no matter what, it's not going to get your champion to a guaranteed crit. It's just going to, to elevate the crit chance to be like pretty damn high. So if you have a champion that has like multiple hits in their special, like Danny Moonstar here, you're not gonna crit on every single hit, but you'll you'll crit, you know, half of them. And that's all you need, man. Danny Moonstar, like it's gonna take it from like if you give it to Gambit, he'll his crit rate goes up a ton, but you still are gonna find those times where you don't crit. Whereas Danny Moonstar, no, you give her the Gambit relic and you're just going to see a higher percentage of crits where you're always going to get, you know, like a couple. Maybe maybe in the cases where the opponent has like high crit resist you don't or something like that. But yeah, that's she's brand new, of course. So may not have her, but uh, who else would there be then? Because I actually didn't even realize the physical uh, aspect of it. So you wouldn't be able to give it to Bishop either. Uh, APOC is energy damage on his specials too, right? Except outside of like the first hit, I'm guessing. You can always tell too by looking on Aunt May. 
and you could check out these parts of the of the hits. So special one, uh, the first three hits are physical. God, I didn't even realize there were this many hits for a special one. Uh, and then the final three hits are energy. Special two. Oh, it's mostly physical. Special two has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits, and five of them are physical. It might not be that bad, actually. You kind of need some crits for it to for him to do good damage. Zoltan, don't be rude to my fave ball guy. What did Zoltan say? Are you almost done so Abdo can stream? Abdo, are you streaming tonight? Zoltan, a.k.a. Tequila Ted. <laughs> Tequila Ted. Uh, oh, I did. Oh, dude. I, I thought you were making up that name. <laughs> I thought you were calling Zoltan. T I didn't realize that that's Zoltan's full name in here. I was like, where'd you come up with that? <laughs> oh, man. The relic has an eye icon. Uh, Top right tells you he's recommended. Some of them have extra abilities in the description. From memory, the Gamma Relic shouts out Rogue. Ugh, Rogue. Screw that. Anyway, I hope that gives at least an idea. Um, you can look around for, for champs that uh, have uh, high physical damage on special 2 below crit rate and just attach the Gambit Relic that way. I, I, I personally, I think Danny Moonstone uh, is number one for it. Colossus? Yeah, Colossus would be good. Ebony Maul, good defender? Ebony Maul is a great defender, yeah. Um, I I don't say this to be rude, though. Ebony Maul is kind of known to be a good defender. So when I see someone asking if Ebony Maul is a good defender, I think you should not rank Ebony Maw. Because I'm thinking you might not uh, be like the the highest progression levels at the moment, maybe. And what you should be focused on is ranking up champs to, to get through uh, all of the different, uh, you know, progressions. Rank, rank up champs that you can use offensively and, um, you know, quest with. If my assumption is incorrect, then, uh, uh, yeah, my bad. But, uh, Ebony Maw, he's, he's a great defender. Easy. Is that overdue saying, Brown, I don't know how to equip the new cap emote from Gladiator Circuit. Beats me, dude. I don't think I've ever used these emotes. I think I used them, like, one time against lags. I don't really, uh, touch the emotes. Um... Where do you do stuff like that? Is it in this tab? I for dude. I forgot you could um name the decks. Named it Rocket Power. You could change the pick? Hmm. I mean it feels appropriate to um Make a rocket, but no. We'll leave it. Um, let me see. Pencil icon in your profile. Wow. It's not very intuitive. <laughs> but okay. Anyway, yeah, this is this is where you do it, I guess. I would dude, I I could have looked around for an hour and not stumbled upon this. Huh. Um, all right. Anyway. Uh, I think that was the last match of the season for me. Uh, it's kind of late. I kind of want to play some more, but at the same time, it's kind of late. I'm out of milestones to get. I think I'm just going to sit here. And yeah. That was in the profile. Uh, easy. Did you not see where I just was at? It's not very intuitive. MCOC game design in a nutshell. Yeah, a little bit. Wrap it up, Baldy. I need to go see the vampires. The vampires. 
Wait, how do you change emotes, Shell? Okay, here, this is... Ah, crap. I don't really know who I, which message I read to give credit to someone, but it was, it was someone in here that said it. The same place that you go to change your profile pic. Um, you just equip emotes there. And yeah. Which are the coolest emotes anyway, man? Uh... So you could have five in your deck. Feels like this would you I don't know. If they're calling it a deck, would it not just save to your actual battleground deck? Is there another button here that I missed? Because it feels like this should be where where it's done, but um Whoops, no 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 no. Ah, uh, whatever. Maybe they maybe they don't have it that you could save emotes per deck. Um, who cares? I'm not going to use any of these anyway. Can I can I unequip them? I don't think I can. Yeah, I can only just change them, huh? That makes sense, honestly. This part's intuitive for uh, changing them out. Um, I don't think I care about any of these though. I guess I should get the cap one in there. He seems pretty cool. The cap salute. Um, let's do that. Let's do this one. I don't really like this hella one. I don't really like the other ones either. All right, I'm going to just save this. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Good luck if you guys are uh, pushing in the, uh, in the battlegrounds. Or good luck if you're grinding in the arena. Abby Dill, I'm looking at you. That Danny Moonstar, dude. I want her. She's very strong. Very, very strong. The cap one is like telling your opponents, uh, opponent GG's at least. Yeah, I think so. Damn, he took out Loki Laugh. I'm not going to use any of these anyway. Uh, BG, I need some advice uh, on how to get better. I'm level 34 and 75% through Act 4. And my best champ is a 5-star rank 3 Ghost Rider. Uh, advice on how to get better. Level 34. Okay. Well, that's pretty good, man. Um, I'd say you're on your way. I, my advice to you is is 100% explore acts one through four. And I would go in order and I would save as many units as you possibly can to invest in unlocking masteries. I've made I've got um, uh, a guide that you can search for on YouTube. Uh, just type in MCOC beginner and intermediate masteries. It'll pop right up. Explain what you need to unlock. And fighting wise, learn how to parry. You can you can search YouTube how to parry like a boss, and uh, a, a video from the Dork Lessons channel will pop up. And those two things are kind of all you need to know in the, in the beginning. Um, if you have more specific questions, feel free to ask in the future. Um, very helpful community overall. Even if I don't see your message. You don't need advice from me. You just need advice from knowledgeable people. And guess what? We got knowledgeable people by the truckload in here. So uh, there's a ton of great people that uh, if you listen to their advice, uh, it can take you very far. Lady Suzanne testing tomorrow? Uh, no. Well, maybe, actually. We'll see. Maybe. 8.2.6 tomorrow? No. No, I, I won't be able to until, like, Friday. Wednesday and Thursday are kind of the toughest days for me to... to, to, do, to do anything other than a... Uh, relatively shorter streams. Uh, so 1,000 units are not helpful. Why am I grinding them all at you? 1,000 units are not helpful? Units are always helpful. If you're talking about for the 4th of July deals, 
Um, sometimes the 1k unit offer is good, but either way, you could always save units for uh, other offers. Listen, if there's 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 very few things that we can say for absolute uh, with absolute certainty about MCOC. One of them, though, is that Kabam will always have another offer. Kabam will shut down the servers and they will still be coming out with offers. I don't know how or where or, or what they'll look like, but they will find a way. Employed by your truly Kabam? Uh, I'm not talking to me here, right? Miss Dorkman. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dorkman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, don't get it. Don't get it twisted. I do not work for Kabam. But Dave does, yeah. Um, Before I end this, I want to take off subscriber mode. Forgot I turned that on. Let me turn that off. Okay, there we go. BG, curly fries or regular fries? Ah, oh, man, I love french fries, dude. But I, I... I think curly fries... Yeah, I mean, how, how, yeah, it has to be curly fries, but dude, I, I, French fries are just great in general. The only fries I don't like are from uh, like crappy fast food places, like McDonald's. McDonald's has disgusting fries. I don't know how some people are like, oh, McDonald's has the best fries. If you've only eaten food out of the toilet before, sure, yeah, I guess, I guess McDonald's fries are a step up from that. But like, these things are gross. Um, all right, anyway, I'm going to head out. I will uh, see you guys tomorrow before I go. Shout out to Jim for being tonight's biggest D. Jim, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, normal time. Night, everybody.